the 17th of November 2021, 58-year-old James Phelps and 56-year-old Timothy Norton were charged with murder and abandonment of the corpse in connection to the death of 33-year-old Cassidy Rainwater after remains were found on James's property in Lebanon, Missouri. Both men have been in jail since September of 2021 when the pair were initially charged with kidnapping Cassidy after she went missing. The search for Cassidy began when the authorities were contacted on the 25th of August this year by a woman who said she hadn't seen Cassidy for about six weeks and that James was the last person she was seen with. She had been staying in the loft of James's home, located at 386 Moon Valley Road. That same day, investigators visited the property to conduct a welfare check, but found no sign of her. Deputies met James and asked if he knew Cassidy, and he advised he did, but he had not spoken to her for about a month and made a statement about her going to Colorado. On the 1st of September, investigators revisited the home and questioned James again about Cassidy's whereabouts. He told them that she was staying with him while she got on her feet and had only been there for a couple of weeks. He said once again that he hadn't seen her since she left about a month prior and that she was talking about going to Colorado. He said she left in the middle of the night when she met with a vehicle at the end of the driveway in the dark and had not seen or heard from her since. On the 16th of September, the FBI received a cyber tip containing a series of photos. These were titled Cassidy by the person who sent the tip in which the FBI then unforwarded to the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. The photos show Cassidy partially clothed and held in a cage. The remaining photos show Cassidy's body bound to a gantry crane device, commonly used for processing deer, and a disembowelment and dismemberment. That same day, detectives arrived at James's home, and when they recognised items in his backyard that coincided with the photos the FBI sent in, James was arrested. They also seized James's phone as evidence, and found several more photos of Cassidy partially disrobed in a cage on his property. Investigators spent a week searching James's property and found the gantry, the cage, blood evidence, and items in the freezer that appeared to be human flesh dated the 24th of July. In total, the authorities recovered over 200 pieces of evidence. Digital evidence found at the scene revealed messages between James and Timothy, plotting Cassidy's murder on the night of the 24th of July. Items were sent to the crime lab for testing, and the lab confirmed they were consistent with Cassidy's DNA. Authorities say they found Cassidy's skeletal remains, located on an adjacent property where James disposed of them. On the 17th of September, investigators attempted to interview James, but he refused to answer any questions. On the 20th of September, Tim was interviewed and he confessed to murdering Cassidy. He told the investigators that late at night, on the 24th of July, James asked him to come over while Cassidy was asleep. Tim said that James had Cassidy sleep on the living room floor by the front door of the cabin, so they had easy access to attack her. Tim explained that he held her legs down, while James strangled her and placed a bag over her head. Tim said that after eventually killing Cassidy, they both took a short break before carrying her body outside. Tim said that James then bound a body to the gantry crane, which was located behind the residence, and James began to eviscerate and dismember her body. Tim then helped James carry Cassidy's mutilated body parts into the home, which were placed into the bathtub. The motive of Cassidy's murder is unclear. On the 4th of October, the house on James's property was burnt down, after authorities had processed the scene. Investigators found explosive devices on the property, and determined that the cause was arson, but no one has been arrested. The authorities have not found any evidence linking the pair to other victims. James and Tim are held at the Dallas County Detention Center without bond as the trial continues. A man has been sentenced to 15 years in prison this week for attempting to meet a five-year-old child to lewdly abuse. On the 19th of May 2020, 30-year-old Eric Templeton of St. Petersburg, Florida, engaged in online chats and text messaged an undercover agent over several days, whom he believed to be the mother of the minor, where he told his desire to meet and violate the child. On the 21st of May 2020, Eric arrived at a location in Tampa, Florida, where he planned to meet the mother and child. He had a bottle of lubricant and two lollipops with him at the time, and he was arrested on site. He later pleaded guilty to the crime on the 9th of March 2021, on the 17th of November 2021, Eric was sentenced to 15 years in prison. He was also ordered to serve a 15-year term of supervised release. 
to register as a child predator and to pay $11,700 in restitution 